Hello, welcome to Con Corner. I'm Tina, and uh, today I'm going to talk about painting my wood stove. Um, we have uh, uh, our our um, um, stove pipe um, rusted out after I don't know, maybe 30, 40 years, <laughs> however long <laughs> since it had been in here last winter, and so we had to put a new one in. Well, the new one. Um, the, the, there's there's a couple of of times through the year in in late winter and early spring, uh, late February and through March, where once in a while the direction that the storms and the winds come from, um, it blows water in um, under the housing of the the chimney, and uh, doesn't happen any other time of year. But when that happens, um, we get a little bit of a drip right here. <clears throat> so last winter when this started happening, um, it, it uh, naturally it caused the, the stove to rust. Um, so I bought um, I bought this uh, Rutland 1200 degree high temp paint and uh, I gave it uh, a couple of coats of it. It smells like, um, uh, well, it smells like nail polish. It's very very strong. You need to Paint it at a time when there's no, when there's nobody around and when you've got good ventilation, um, but it it requires heat to temper it. Um, so what you do is you you clean it, it very well and then you you steel wool it and steel brush it. I have a steel brush somewhere that I used on it, um, and I got all that rust off and then I wiped it real good with a tack cloth, got all the dust off, and then just uh, stir the paint good and paint it on. Let it dry. It dries really fast, but like I said, it's got a lot of fumes. Um, your stove's got to be completely cold. Um, you can't have any coals in it at all. It'd be just so. I what I did is I painted it before I made our first fire of the season, and uh, um, I waited until it was gonna gonna be cold within a day or two, and that's when I put the paint on. Um, I was real careful to get to get all in here, you know, where that seam is, and all under there. And then once I got it painted, though, I stood back and I looked and I thought, huh, now the rest, <laughs> now the rest of it doesn't look so good. Of course, it's all dusty and stuff. Uh, so uh, I'm going to try cleaning the rest of it first and see if that will work, and it may not have to be painted <laughs> if it's just clean. Um, but what this is, the reason it can withstand is it's a um, um, it's a silicon based. It's not a pigment based. It, it, it's a it's a silicon, and it's designed to renew the finish on natural cast iron grills, ovens, cookers, anywhere high temperature resistant flat black coating is needed. It contains no lead, fluorocarbons, or vinyl chloride, and it's non toxic when dry. No primer needed. Use on cold surfaces only. Fire, you know, you can't can't use it with any any fire at all. No coals at all because the fumes are just way too much. Remove all the loose material and sand at rusty spots. Um, you can do a, a sandpaper and, like I said, I used a steel a, a wire brush and then I finished off with uh, just plain steel wool and got it really smooth and then you tacked, used a tack cloth and tacked all the dust off of it. Uh, you don't want any polish or wax. You need to use some lacquer thinner on I just wanted to say though about the the, uh, the paint that it's fantastic. Uh, once it, um, uh, once I built a fire in here it uh, it kinda kinda smoked a little bit it, you know when the fire was first blazing up and then it just faded back, and uh, uh, it, it's just been great ever since. So um, I'm I'm really happy. It was well worth uh, whatever it cost me for that little. It, the paint is really really thin, so it goes a long way. So um, I'll be back, and we'll see what it looks like once I get it cleaned up. Okay. Well, I decided to uh, use alcohol to clean it up with because that'll dry really quickly. Uh, Whereas the mineral spirits would not, um, so it certainly looks a lot better. But it is um, 
I can see now that it's cleaned up. There's some rust along here and along there. Um, so I do need to go ahead and uh, paint uh, the front of it. The sides of it still look uh, really clean and look like the paint is uh, held up pretty good on them as does the, the back of it. I don't know if you can see there. Um, there there's not any uh, not any rust and not any flaking. Uh, the paint's kind of worn on the front. Of course I guess that's because it, that's where it gets the most use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and paint the front and let that dry. That way if I have to make a fire in the morning I'll be able to and because it, it'll have dried overnight. So I'll uh, see y'all in a little while when I'm done with that. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick how thin this paint is. Um, I've had ample, see how thin it is? I think you can see it just drips off. See how it drips off? Um, I've had ample in this tiny little, tiny little, uh, what, one pint can uh, to do two coats of <coughs> the whole stuff. A little glossier. So if I don't have to build a fire tomorrow, I'll get up there tomorrow and paint that. Otherwise, I'll have to wait till it cools off again. Um, but uh, I've got, uh, let me close it up here. There we go. Um, but I've got two coats um, on all the sides. Um, the more I started looking at the sides, the, of course, the difference in the paint would have shown too. But there was a little bit of rust down here showing where the uh, where the paint was starting to wear. There we go. Let's let it get focused again. Um, so anyway, it already uh, looks 100% better. And I'm real, real pleased um, with how this turned out. So I can highly recommend this paint. Um, it's great. So when Paul got up this morning, what's the first thing he noticed? Yeah, that new stove, it looks like a brand new stove. <laughs> That's the best stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> I've got a fire built in it now, and so we're... Let me show you real quick. We're getting our fire going. And uh, uh, even though they caution about the fumes from it when you first light it up, uh, after you paint it, we're able to sit in here and not notice any problems. So. I, I smell, barely smell it. Yeah, yeah. Might be just logs burning. Yep. Oh, I think that's the paint. So anyway, looks really good. We're real happy. All right. Thanks a bunch. Bye.